The ecosystem of partnership is an important concept in today's interconnected world. It recognizes that not entity operates in isolation, and by working together, we can achieve far more than we could on our own. Today, we are fortunate to have with us a top global senior leader from IBM ecosystem, someone who embodies innovation and resilience. It is my absolute pleasure to ask you, please, Tell us about yourself. Thank you, Harold. It's uh, fantastic to be here with you today. So my name is Kate Woolley. I lead the IBM ecosystem globally. I joined IBM back in 2020, and it was when we as a company were doubling down on hybrid cloud and AI. It's been fantastic to be a part of that hybrid cloud and AI journey and strategy at IBM and we've got so much more to do and I know we're going to talk about that today. Uh, on the personal front, I, I'm Australian and haven't lost the accent yet, live in New York City, uh, been there for many years now with my husband and my two children. That's awesome and thank you for sharing your backgrounds and also all this uh, with your lovely family in New York City. That, that is amazing. And, and also amazing that you are involved in these changes in this uh, amazing financial rate of, of development of technology. So what's the role of IBM ecosystem? What's the mission? IBM's ecosystem is really at the heart of IBM's transformation. So it's a key priority for IBM. And I think it is so critical for any technology company to have a thriving ecosystem. We have to have that in order to meet our clients where they're at, because our clients, and they don't want to work with, with one vendor. They want to work with a variety of vendors to bring the best value to them. Uh, it's about how do we move faster and innovate more. And something you said up front about how we can do more together than we can as separate entities. And that is really at the heart of IBM's ecosystem mission. And the IBM ecosystem, it's, it's tens of thousands of partners, all different partner types from other software companies, ISVs, uh, our system integrator partners, uh, our developer community is an absolute critical part of IBM's ecosystem. All of our resell partners, our distributors, all of our largest strategic partners, the hyperscalers, and it's partners that sell IBM technology, they build or embed IBM technology, they build services around IBM technology. Our mission is to deliver more value, more innovation to our clients through and with a thriving ecosystem. And you said yourself, you know, the role of partnership is absolutely critical to be able to do that. When we talk about technology that is developing this uh, fast and so fast, uh, faster than ever, in the near future will be faster and faster. The disruption that we are experiencing is just the beginning of what we're going to have in the near future. IBM in the, uh, I mean, the past couple of years have put much more emphasis on its partner ecosystem. But mm -hmm. what have been the biggest changes and why were those made? A couple of big changes. The first one I'll talk about is the launch of our Partner Plus program, which we launched in January this year. And that was a complete overhaul of the program through which we engaged with our partners across all different partner types. And we actually designed that program based on feedback we heard from our partners. And a couple of the other premises of the program, the first one is around insider access. And that is all about how do we give our partners the skilling and the training and the expertise that makes them an extension of IBM. That's how we want to think about our partner ecosystem. We also designed the program to give very clear support. We put in place a very simple set of financial incentives. We have the new partner accelerator as part of that. So how do we bring new partners into our ecosystem? I think that's been a, a huge change for the IBM ecosystem. We have really doubled down on how we think about partnering where we embed IBM technology. And you can think about this as bringing the best of what IBM's doing to the best of what our partners are doing. 
We announced recently with SAP where we have IBM technology, our digital assistant embedded inside of SAP Start. And we have a lot of examples where we leverage those joint strengths and we're really doubling down on how we do that, that with our partners. And I think that's been a big change and a big focus for us as well. I see your excitement and your passion about it. And, and that is, I mean, I can feel it and it's great to hear you on that in this way. But can you talk about uh, some of the success or takeaways you have seen working with partners this year? If you think about Partner Plus, I mentioned our new partner accelerator. So since we announced Partner Plus, we've had over 3,000 new partners registered to be part of the IBM ecosystem. Here I'm talking about resale partners, which is one obviously critical piece of our ecosystem. And that's because it is a simple program. It is easy to engage in. It is transparent. They have clear line of sight to their earning capacity. And we've also put in place the support and the resources. And so we're seeing partners want to be a part of the IBM ecosystem, which is absolutely fantastic. And then having this white glove support to get them up and running, to get them skilled. Our clients want IBM and they want our partners to have more technical skills. And so with the Partner Plus program, all of the IBM education, uh, enablement materials, the proficiency badges, they're all available free of charge for our, for our partners. So you can imagine now when an IBMer and a partner go to a client together, they're a single team because they've been trained on the same materials, they've got the same badges. And so we see them as an extension of IBM. And so we've had, we've had 70,000 uh, course enrollments since uh, we launched this. We've had 40,000 badges completed by people at our partners. So we're seeing real engagement there. We're seeing partners working together in different ways. We're seeing partners engaging with IBM in different ways and collaborating in different ways. So we've got so many of those success stories that show we're collaborating and engaging in a different way. These partners are clients, are suppliers, yes. or could be competitors also yes. in some products yes. or services. Yes, absolutely. But we can do more together. And I think it's really important as we think about growing an ecosystem for us not to simply say, oh, we work together. We work well together. We play nice together. It's actually mm. really different to say, we're going to walk into a client together and do this hand in hand, not just we'll play nice, but we'll actually do it together. And I think that's a real shift. And that's what our clients want to see. Talk me about how IBM is thinking about AI. This is really about how do we unleash the intelligence of the data in the enterprise? IBM mm -hmm. is focused on the enterprise. We've seen AI go from something within the enterprise that was an afterthought. It was something you added on at the end, maybe, to now enterprises want to lead with AI. They want to actually start with AI. And IBM has been a pioneer in the AI space for, for a very long time. And as we think about the IBM point of view, if I think about it from the, from the IBM point of view of what we believe adds the most value for our clients, it's around how do we scale that AI across the enterprise, but with trust. And I think that the with trust is a very important component here. And there's a few different ways we would think about that. So the first one is around being open. And this is around how do we actually create AI technology and platforms that are based on the best AI and cloud technologies. And so we have, for example, announced our Hugging Face partnership, where we are very, you know, working with Hugging Face and all of the open models that they have. And we have all of those as part of our AI and data platform. We also believe that it needs to be targeted. And when I say targeted, this is about how do we actually make AI targeted for very specific use cases? How do we have the right models that can be tuned for specific use cases? It's not about building the biggest, it's actually about making it very targeted so that enterprises can leverage it in the most efficient way. The third one I would say is about the trust that I mentioned earlier. So how do we actually have the right security, the right data protection 
so that our solutions are built with governance, with transparency, with the right ethics. I think this actually, in my opinion, is going to be one of the biggest and most important issues that all of our clients, all enterprises are going to have to overcome. And then the last one I would say is um, the last kind of theme around IBM's point of view on this is empowering. How do we actually have a platform where our clients are empowered to bring their own data, tune their own data, that it can run anywhere? I think that's going to be really, really important as well. And I think as, as the market goes from this hype to reality and enterprise you know, reality hits and they want to use AI, but they want to use it in the right way. We believe these are going to be the elements that are going to be absolutely critical. And, and that's what we've built our Watson X data and AI platform around. That's what underlies everything we're doing in this space. At the announcement of Watson X, can you share more on what that is and what impact that has to the IBM ecosystem? At its simplest level, Watson X is, as I said, this enterprise ready AI and data platform. There's three components to it. We've got Watson X.ai. You can think about that as the, the studio or the workbench for foundation models. How can uh, our clients use that to tune uh, machine learning, generative AI, that type of thing. Then the second piece is the Watson X dot data component in this. And this is, uh, think of this as the data store, the kind of fit for purpose data store and open lake house architecture, uh, which, our, which our clients can leverage. And then the last piece is Watson X dot governance. And we talked about this earlier when we were talking about the trust and the data protection and the security. This is the toolkit that will allow our enterprises, allow our clients to govern the, the AI workflows so they can make sure that they're, they're built in a way that is responsible, that's transparent, and that has explainability inside of those workflows. So that's going to be absolutely critical for enterprises as they think about implementing AI at scale. And then we're also taking that technology and we're infusing it through our products. So if you think about uh, what's an orchestrate, if I just take an example, which is an IBM product around automation and how do we actually use the power of AI, so AI infused inside of that product to free up individuals from tedious tasks so they can move to higher value activities. So we have seen, we've used this a lot within the HR function. We've actually used it as client zero here at IBM, but also with many of our clients. And we see a 40% improvement in HR productivity when you look at that product. So we're not only, we not only have the Watson X AI and data platform, but we're also infusing that throughout our software portfolio. It's, it's very exciting, I think, for the IBM ecosystem. Lots of different ways in which it impacts and enhances our ecosystem. I think we can use it in a, a way for our partners to enhance their offerings. We talked earlier about the SAP example, uh, embedding the technology inside of their offerings. We're also doing work with Samsung, Intel, many, many other partners in looking at how we how we use AI with them. Our partners are really also excited to sell IBM technology. We've got distributors and resellers who can add this to their portfolio. All of their clients want this as well. So it's very exciting for them. And then as we think about all of our system integrator and consultancy partners, they're building services around this. They're building centers of excellence around generative AI. And this is a critical technology for them to be using in that. So I think this is, this is how, how do we be stronger together with our partners? How do we make sure that we can train our partners? As I said before, you know, we want our partners to be an extension of IBM. So it's exciting for them to be building the skills of their teams as well. These are partnership with AWS. Can you discuss the evolution of how, yeah. uh, I mean, of your partnership? This is our third year of, of really uh, doubling down on our AWS partnership. It's one of the fastest growing partnerships on both sides. And this is really a great example of, as we think about meeting our clients where they're at and thinking about what drives the most value for our clients, IBM and AWS together makes a lot of sense. And so we identified that together and, and 
chose and made the decision together to lean in to this partnership. So it's a great partnership, both for IBM Consulting, who have a huge practice built around, uh, around AWS, as well as for IBM Technology. So we have more than 50 offerings on the AWS marketplace. So IBM offerings uh, available on the AWS marketplace. We have a very strong uh, collaboration with AWS around our Red Hat portfolio. And we also have, for example, uh, our IBM partners can actually resell IBM software through the AWS marketplace. So we can have IBM plus AWS, plus a resale partner, plus a distributor, and we're all working together. And this is how our clients, if our clients want to buy that way, we want to make sure that we make it as easy as possible for them to do that. We're continuing to collaborate with AWS, for example, around generative AI. So we recently launched what's an X dot data that is available on AWS as a, as a fully managed SaaS solution. We also have uh, Red Hat OpenShift on AWS, our Rosa solution. So a lot more to come there. We're kind of only just, just getting started. We also have a very strong partnership with Microsoft. So we have a very strong track record of innovation with combining uh, our technology portfolio, our consulting services. Uh, we have offerings available, over 30 software offerings available on the Azure marketplace. So a lot that we're doing with the hyperscalers to meet our clients where they're at. It requires a lot of attention all the time, but, but also this passion for, for change and for uh, moving forward and learning together, as you, as you said also, with uh, customers and, and partners and, and clients. Can you share your point of view on how you think ecosystems will evolve with the growth of tech like AI. It does add complexity as you think about growing the ecosystem and all of these different partnerships. As we think about growing ecosystems, very important to stay focused on what we want to do with different partners and to be very honest and upfront about that and finding the places where actually we are stronger together. It allows us to then prioritize, it allows us to focus our teams, it allows us not to get distracted and uh, we don't have to do everything with everybody. And that's what I think is really important. It's, it's for us to stay focused and figure out what adds the most value for our clients. And I think that is where I, as you look at AI and how that's going to continue to evolve, evolve the technology landscape, our clients are going to want the best across all of the technology landscape, whether that's consulting services, the best technology. And so that's why I think we will continue to collaborate more with more partners, because that allows us to deliver the best of all worlds and deliver it faster for our clients. So I think what's next, we're going to see more and more product collaborations, more embedding of, if I think about from the IBM perspective, more embedding of AI technology so that our other software companies can move faster and deliver what they do best and deliver that with IBM technology inside of it. And I think that we're going to see clients continue to expect more of IBM and more of our partners. So I think we're going to continue to see us applying our technology to ourselves and applying, you know, having our partners apply the technology to themselves so that we can deliver more and deliver faster. I can stay listening to you um, in four hours because really it's uh, very exciting and, and, and again your passion is contagious. So first I want to thank you, I mean to, be, to, to express my gratitude for your time, really very enlightening and very grateful. Before, before we close uh, this conversation, if you want to have to say a, a few words, that would be great. Thank you, Harold. It's been fantastic to be here. Uh, thank you very much for having me and thank you to everyone who's listening. I think, as we said, I, I do strongly believe the future is all about how we can continue to collaborate more. And I think AI is only going to accelerate that and going to accelerate everything that we're doing across the IBM ecosystem. And so it's really about how do we be stronger together with our partners and deliver that value and the innovation to our collective clients faster. And we're really just getting started. So there's no better time to be a part of the IBM ecosystem. Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure. Thank you.